Welcome to Shawnee Union. Back at the park this week again, and this week we're gonna be doing something new. I've been trying to review film, and so this is the first film I'm gonna review. Amography Red Scale XR um, 50 to 200. It's a red scale film, so you'd be shooting through the base of the film instead of through the motion side. You get some really cool effects, and I'll go over um, what it does to the film and then how I think it's best to use. The first thing we're gonna review is color, and that's one of the really unique things about Lermography Red Scale XR. You get different colors at different ISO speeds. So I did some tests at Graffiti Park in Austin. Here I'm shooting at 200, and you're gonna see the typical red scale effect. A lot of red, not a lot of other colors, and really, um, low, really high contrast. Then I shot at um, 100, and 100 you're gonna see that there's greens creeping into the image. And then I shot at 50. And at 50, you're going to see that there's blues in the image now. And this is what I prefer. I prefer shooting at 50. And I'll talk a little bit about that later. Next, we're going to talk about contrast. So this is an image I shot at 200 ISO. You're going to see that it's pretty underexposed. And then I did some edits to bump up the blacks and to um, bump up the contrast to get this final image. And then I like it. I think this is the typical effect you're going to get with red scale and shooting at 200. Not a lot of color and a lot of high contrast. Here's another image I liked, and I shot at two at 50 ISO. And then you're going to see that I just had to do very little here, so just barely bumping up the contrast and the blacks to get an image I like. So um, that's the kind of different in contrast you're going to get at the lower um, ISO speeds. You're going to have you're going to have to bump it up a little bit, and at the higher ones, you can just you can just leave it. The grain with Lomography Red Scale XR is different, again, at the different ISO speeds you shoot at. So when you're shooting at 200 ISO, this picture of a park on the bench, you'll see that it's pretty grainy. And we're going to zoom in real quick. And I think it's because you're shooting at a higher ISO. So typically with any higher ISO, you're going to get a little bit more grain. I don't think the grain detracts from the image, but um, it is there and you should be aware of it. So here's another image just out of 200 ISO, and I don't really have a big opinion on the grain here. It doesn't really detract from the image, and it doesn't really add to the image. So I think it's pretty normal, and I think it's pretty within reason. Um, here's an image I shot at 50 ISO. You're going to see that there's that strong sepia cast. And again, you really, the grain here, um, I really can't see it. So it's not, it doesn't detract from the image. It doesn't add to the image. I think it's pretty smooth overall. So the grain with Lomography Red Scale XR is really going to differ at what speed you shoot at. So how good is the latitude of Lomography Red Scale XR? Um, here's another color test I did. Here's a 200 ISO, 100 ISO, and 50 ISO. So I think this film is just really great latitude. When you push it, when you go over stops, you're going to get a different color effect. And when you go under, you're going to get a different color effect. So the lower you go, the one you're going to get that stronger red cast. And the higher you go, you're going to get closer to that sepia tone. And I think it's really interesting if you can have a roll of film that is that versatile. So I'm putting more pictures up here that just show the versatility of this film. And I think it's an extremely versatile film. And it's just really fun to shoot with. Um, you kind of wait to get your pictures back to see what colors they come out. And I think that's an interesting thing about this film. Um, it really is experimental. So my tips for shooting with Lomography Red Scale XR is to shoot at ISO 50. Uh, when I was shooting at ISO 50, I got uh, images that I really liked. So I shot at one roll at 200, one roll at 100, and one roll at 50, and I got the most images I liked on that roll. So also when you're shooting at 200, um, you will just get a lot of duds and a lot of pictures that are really underexposed. So you do take a risk there. You do get a more stronger red scale effect, but you also have a lot more images that are just really dark. So I ended up really liking using Lomography Red Scale XR. It's a really experimental film, so you get a lot of different things with it, and you can try a lot of different things out on it. And in the end, uh, over my three rolls, I had a great time shooting with it. And I highly recommend it for anyone shooting Red Scale or is taking part in Biff Scale 17. So have you guys tried the Margaret Free Red Scale before? And if you guys have any tips or tricks on what you guys uh, like to do with it, let me know in the comments. And then hope you guys enjoyed that video. We'll be again. I'll be back again next week. Thank you. See ya. Bye.